Hello and welcome to another Del Boy video. And yes, I'm continuing my gaming video series where I've asked my friends to come up with a game that they'd like to see me play. Now, it could be a game I've seen before. It could be a brand new game. It could be a hidden gem or it could be a real fast, I mean, really difficult game <laughs> that my friends want me to suffer on. And uh, we're at the end of round five, and uh, we're back round to my friend Mainmeister, who's absolutely suggested a, a stalwart classic, and one that I played a hell of a lot back in the day. Uh, I'm so glad he's chosen this. Um, I haven't played it in a very long time, and it brings back such memories. Um, and what's the game? Well, it's Attack of the Mutant Camels. Yes, it's the UK Attack of the Mutant Camels. I have to sort of like explain myself a little bit here, uh, but it's a little bit complicated. But um, in America, um, Llamasoft, who um, were distributed in America by Hessware, um, called their game Matrix Attack of the Mutant Camels. So that adds a layer of confusion when I started to get into emulation because I was looking for games to download and I... I wanted Attack of the Mutant Camels, and when I loaded it up, it was a, a grid system with a load of camels going across it. That's not Attack of the Mutant Camels that I remember. Um, and it was the American version. So, yeah, a little bit complicated and convoluted. Uh, but what is Attack of the Mutant Camels? Well, it's Jeff Minter's take on Empire Strikes Back, the Star Wars game. And I hadn't at the time seen the atari 2600 version but to be quite honest oh my god yeah did he rip um a new a new version of that game for the commodore 64 does that make it a bad game no could you get away with it in 1983 absolutely so anyway um we're gonna go to the game capture screen and you can see the main screen is up and i've decided to use my um gaming series joystick however um the joystick on this is a lot looser and i tried to find my tensioner i've got a tensioner for this um but couldn't do so so i'm hoping um that it won't be too loose uh for me to play because this is a a definite game to play with digital joysticks um in fact it's probably better um the stiffer the joystick the better because it really is a frantic arcade game um so i haven't played this in a long time i'm pretty sure i'm i'm not going to get to the end of level one with my first go but i'm pretty sure that as i play subsequent little games i'll get a bit better so i'm going to press the fire button and you can see some flashing images so just be aware of that if you're epileptic and uh me trying to destroy a load of huge camels that are going to be coming at me so here we go, and I'll appear at the top at the beginning, on the right hand side, there I am, and I'm heading towards those huge sort of like little camel sprites that you can see at the top of the screen. There we go, and they'll be spitting at me and everything, and I've got to slowly diminish their shields till I kill them. Now, every couple of these shots turn into sort of little homing missiles. Now, you'll see I got hit there. That wasn't a homing missile, so I, I got away with it. I don't think I see any shields on me to tell me how many times I can get hit, but I'm pretty sure about two or three times. But you can see I've got to hit these camels a lot more than that. The closer you are to them, obviously, the faster you're going to blow them up. And there heading towards the base on the far right of the screen, which is where I came from. Turn around, start firing. So far, so good. Laser spitting gits. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Jeff Minton might be present. <laughs> But he followed this up with another fantastic game that I played a lot of back in the day, which was called Revenge of the Mutant Camels. Totally different game to this. 
you play the actual camel. Um, but this one, oh, I did play this to death. And, um, of course, there is an Atari version of this. A lot of people debate over which one's better. Um, I've played both. I like the Atari one. It has a much better color palette. Um, but in this case, I think I'd go with the Commodore 64 a little bit more. It's that color banding that you get with the Atari that distracts for me. But overall, um, two, fan two on, you know, the games on both machines are spot on, really. Oh, you bastard. I was talking then and not concentrating. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's hope we don't lose too many lives like that. It does remember where you left off. There we go. Um, so, should be okay. Now, there is, after I kill this camel, if I do, um, a scene where missiles are being fired at you. You've got to dodge them, and you get to the next level. If you don't, you lose yet another life. Jeff Minter loves you to lose lives. Don't know what he's got against me, but he does. <laughs> oh, it's another thing that can happen if you turn wrong at the wrong time. You can actually be flown across the other side of the screen. Here we go. Got to avoid these missiles. Uh oh, there we are. Did it? We're on to the next level. Should probably be an extra camel on this one now. And they'll be a little bit... Starting off a little bit earlier. A little bit closer to the base. It steadily ramps up. Which is good. Because you don't want it to go mad. But just like what, you know, good thing that Jeff does is that you can... Sort of like change the difficulty a little bit at the beginning can make it really hard on yourself by turning on collisions with the camel. That really makes this difficult. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Talking again. Distracted. Well, I'm putting it down to that. <laughs> now, Alan will be all over me with this game. He's uh, played it on his streams and, oh god, I hit, got it twice then. Um, played on the stream a number of times and I've seen him and he really is good at this game um, I used, I mean I used to love playing this game and I, I'm sure if I practiced enough you know give myself half a day I'd be much better um, but you won't see anything like Alan's play definitely recommend you visit Alan's stream where he plays games sometimes on a Sunday but he does all sorts of good stuff arcade kerfuffles um, um, ten little minute, minute mashups on games, all that sort of good stuff. Um, he really does like playing classic games. Definitely worth looking at. Um, and there'll be a link at the bottom of this, um, in, in the description, of course. Now I'm not doing too well because I'm talking a lot, so I'm going to shut up for a, possibly a little bit. Oh, wow. Joystick's holding up. It is a bit wobbly. You learn an awful lot uh, with this game because sometimes it's best to be at the top and the bottom of the screens when you're turning around. Getting a bit close. I need to speed this up a bit. The closer you are to the screen, the more those missiles can come round. Getting much closer to the base. Oh, bloody hell. That was stupid of me. Oh, bloody hell. They hit me twice. It's that missile that you want to be careful of, the one that homes should be able to avoid the others. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
oh well i got to the end of the first level i got nearly to the end of the second level and i haven't played this game in a long time so that's good um great game gonna play it again here we go i'll probably get progressively worse knowing me doing too badly it says losing a life <laughs> but it's just a great little shooter really just one to get your high scores on and challenge your friends all of that sort of stuff back in the day that's what we all used to love doing, you know, like, oh, what score did you get? Oh, I got a better score than that the next day. And you go, oh, I'll have to go back and beat that. And yeah. Just fun times. Fun times as well. Really need to sort of like as well. Note that you, you can't really hit the legs. You need to hit the body, head. I like the fact that the colour changes as you go through the shields. Lots of lovely things. Jeff Minter really perfected his scrolling later on. This one's a little bit jerky. Still, scrolling was better than a lot of games that were out in 1983. Oh. On it. Yes. Transector hyperdrive. Thank you. Oh, shit. Yeah. There we go. More camel deaths coming up, Jeff. Oh, Gotta speed up a little bit because we are getting very close to the base. Faster now than they did in the other game. Camel bastard! Oh! I was doing really well then. Obviously not. Oh. Turned around and went straight into that. Alan's laughing now at how bad I'm doing. <laughs> oh, bloody. 
That was unlucky. It fired one of the homing ones as I just got to the camel. That was... Sometimes you have to count the shots. I'm doing badly. And they're bloody close to the base as well. Fired then as oh, oh. I'll be over there. What we get. Got it, I think. Oh no, they got to the base. Oh, yeah, wasn't doing too well there. Still got a better score, but yeah, they got to the base. See, you got to be quick. Uh, let's have one more go. Oh, I do love this game. It'd be a quick go. I don't want the, um, to go too long with these games. Probably take a few more risks. worked out there's a sort of like sweet spot to, to hit them it's usually the horizon something I learned playing it many years ago really Now I can't find the horizon spot. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. I was doing terrible then. Amazing when I was talking about that horizon spot. It's right at the camp. It's right at the camel's ass. I was saying I was taking a few more risks. Still, look how far away they are from the base when I was. Oh. 
Yes. Right, here we go. I was doing terrible last time because they got to the base. Ah, oh, I'll get the horizon. There we go. Definitely need attention on this joystick. Just, just a little bit too loose for this game. Still too close for my liking. Terrible, terrible. Right. Oh, again. Same's going to happen again. Maybe not. Okay, level three coming up. Oh. Right, level three. Oh, see how much they're shooting me now. Oh. oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Laser spitting bastards. Oh. Ah, oh, bollocks. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Okay. Last life. Oh. Press the joystick the wrong way then. Jeff. Right. Okay. Let's do my normal roundup. I'm so glad that my friend Mainmeister came up with that game. I haven't played it in a long time and it brings back such 
lovely memories for me. I can just see me now empty opening the case. It was not a cassette case. It was sort of like a clam case. Um, and putting it in and loading it up, it was just a joy. And then when it loaded up, I was just playing the game for hours. Um, and it was just, just, just brilliant. And a couple of my friends um, bought this game as well. And we used to sort of like talk about our high scores and what levels we got to and all of that sort of stuff. Just a, a lovely time. Um, if It's definitely a thumbs up game from me. Um, most Jeff Minter games are. They're not for everybody. In this particular um, instance, it is a bit of a rip off of a, an Atari 2600 game. Um, but in this instance, I don't care. Um, in fact, I think this one is a bit superior to that game, especially in the graphics, at least. Um, and so with that, I'm going to say goodbye and salute. And thanks very much for watching. Watching. I hope it's actually uh, been fun to watch. And uh, we won't be long before we move into round six. What's that going to actually produce is it going to produce some more suffering for me absolutely salute bye bye